Well, that should look familiar, or not, if you didn't watch the last episode. Quick recap. I'm Derek, and for the last three years, I've been living off-grid on some property I bought, starting from a pile of dirt and finally building a tiny house with running water and even a hot shower. I may also have a bit of an issue when it comes to building too many tiny things that move that I can live in. I've converted a school bus, I've built several trailers, I did a truck camper, and now I'm doing it again. This time with a 1984 Ford E350 that used to be a box truck but had the box taken off. In the last video, I thoroughly avoided showing anything interesting whatsoever. Every time things were about to get interesting, I would cut away. I'm not going to do that this time, so here we go. Okay, to be completely fair though, this is not that interesting. Let's try something else. Okay, uh, yeah, so this is what I've been staring at. So we're gonna have these two bars that run doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doo the whole length. Uh, that's 14 feet. I need to apologize for the audio here. It turns out that running a generator in the background isn't really a great idea. I have fixed that in the future. Straight down, this will line up. Go straight down and bolt in. Uh, running across. Okay, not gonna lie, even I'm kind of bored. So here's what I'm talking about. This is box, hello box, and this is the frame for box, and this is what I'm building first. So it's got these two big long bars that run, I already showed that part, angle that runs down and bolts onto the frame of the van. It's got these bars running across, you know, to make the rest of the thing. Overall dimensions, seven feet wide, 14 feet long, just under a hundred square feet. It's the biggest tiny thing I ever did build. With that, I'm starting to actually think about how to build the thing. Like, it's all fine to have a design and order parts, but how do you actually build it? So what I'm thinking about here is, how do I level this whole thing? Because I'm gonna weld off of this. I need to start from something that's reasonably level. So I'm thinking about like putting some bottle jacks in, trying to level all four corners. It turns into a whole big mess. Turns out it's a lot easier than that. Sorry, the audio is just abysmal here, so more of me. I realized what I could do was just base everything off the frame of the van. I can make these spacers out of two by fours and just lift the bar up to the right height and that's it. I'm not gonna lie, there's one other thing that I'm a little nervous about looking at this. So seven feet, what is seven? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, he talks too much. I'm worried anyway, that the box is feet. too low and oh. the tires are gonna hit it. Was that that hard to say? Yeah. It's not a lot of clearance on these tires. I also just realized that that's not an issue. Okay, okay, okay. Change of plan. Kind of. Not really. I didn't. I already thought of this. Okay, so I'm basing all of that off of the idea that it's sitting on that. It doesn't have to sit on that. I can lift it up as high as I want. There we go. That's pretty obvious. Of course, as you can see from that 2x4, it's quite a bit higher than I was initially planning. Oh well. That's just what it's gonna have to be, and I'll have to figure out how to make that work. Ooh, fire! Sparklies! More welding. So one thing that's a bit of a challenge in building this off-grid is, well, welding that kind of requires a lot of power and uh, I don't have that much power. All of the welding that I'm doing is running off of a generator. If you've ever tried to weld off of a generator before, it doesn't usually go very well. It kind of goes in this, I'm not sure what's going on, help me, uh, kind of mode. It tries to rev up and then it freaks out because it thinks it can't do it and then it revs back down and then it revs back up. It's a mess. I'm only mostly ashamed that I didn't think of this before but uh, a friend of mine suggested that I turn the idle up. It's perfect. It just revs high, it does great. So anyway, took some time, took some very bad welds and some frustrated moments, but uh, I did finally work out just fine and the thing does great. This has been Generator Tales with Derek. So yeah. Uh... I think with the way the sun's going down and stuff, I don't think we're gonna get to like everything I wanted to do today. We're not gonna get the crossbars on. So I will just do that tomorrow. But this is good. Uh, this is actually satisfying progress. I'm really trying to take this approach this time where like I guess on the last builds, it's, it's always 
Like it's always so satisfying to get stuff done and like move quickly and look at this go up and this go up and I have tended to skip the final details of each and every step. So things like painting, you know, I would have more than likely I would have ended up just mounting it and spraying on the outside. I wouldn't necessarily have painted on the inside. And yeah, like I probably don't really need to do that much, but I mean, what? It takes me, it takes me a little bit extra time and stuff doesn't go together nearly as quickly. But I get to be a little bit more relaxed and, uh, you know, not rush. And everything gets to be done perfect. Well, <clears throat> well, it gets to be done well. I think what you're trying to say is that you get to enjoy the process and be proud of your work. That's pretty good. Especially if you want it to look like the amazing apocalyptic cyberpunk overland van thing that you want it to be. I think that's probably about it for this episode. I know it's a little on the short side, but yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how to do this. But hey, <laughs> it wasn't two years this time. Next time, you can expect a little bit of... Oh, and the boxes. And, and more boxes and labels. And a little bit of... And definitely some of... This is heavy. So I'm gonna ask it a little more sincerely this time. It would help me a lot if you would subscribe to the channel and like this video and leave a comment. If nothing else, tell me what you wanna see more of, what you wanna see less of. But more than anything, thanks for watching.